I must say I'm a little surprised that so many people know the word blockchain because blockchain effectively is just a database. And if there's some engineers on the call sitting here, you know things like Redis DB and Mongo and so on and so forth, but the world doesn't seem to know about them, even though they've been so revolutionary and helping us build fantastic products. So people know about the blockchain and effectively my sort of first experience with the blockchain was in 2016, I think, or 2017, and I didn't understand it one bit. I had no clue what it was. I knew some people that were super smart that I knew were playing around with it, were talking about Ethereum, Bitcoin, et cetera, et cetera, worth sort of diving into. And since then, of course, I've understood it extremely well. And the blockchain is simply a tamper-resistant database for storing things of value. And it's decentralized enough so that one bad actor can't affect the contents of the entire blockchain without the permission of everybody else. And the way it really clicked for me was, as a result of this, the blockchain acts as a digital notary. And that's the very simple way of understanding what the blockchain is, which means you can finally own things online. And, and that's really powerful because once you own things, you can start unlocking value from things that you actually own. And a decentralized digital notary kind of solves the problem of a central actor. You don't need a central person coordinating, organizing things which means that random people on the street can finally come together and have economic alignment and linkage, like in ways we've not done before, which is actually quite incredible. And more importantly, you know, once you form a community on a common set of incentives on a decentralized digital notary system like the blockchain, one person's rights can't be eroded because you'd have to damage the other people's rights as well because everybody's incentives are linked together in a very tight set of fashion. And so you effectively have a monetary incentive for the first time in the world to defend the rights of other people. That's fascinating. And so as a result, blockchain allows for self-governance. And which is also why the you know, communities built on the blockchain derive its value from the community. Because the community are the center of everything that happens in the blockchain. And now tens of millions of people have invested into this. And as a result, you can see the power of this um, in a very big way.